how do we preserve a game and yet still have access to it? Let's talk about lamination. So at the end of August, I'm going to be going to ConSim in Phoenix, and I'm going to be playing La Bataille de Friedland. And this particular game was only one of 400 that was printed, and it's out of print. Um, right now, the game is going for over $1,000 on eBay, and I hate to admit it, I spent a fair penny adding it to my collection a number of years ago. So I'm really hesitant about um, punching it out and having all the components there at a convention where maybe somebody will spear, spill a beer on it or sweep a counter off onto the floor or any number of other things. Um, and so I thought, well, what's something that we can do to try to have the game, keep it safe, keep it preserved? And I thought about uh, getting the map uh, copied and or laminated. And so I've done both. And I uh, want to talk with you about the opportunities or the frustrations that come with having it laminated. So I took a trip down to my local office supply store and they were able to uh, scan and copy the maps. Um, usually as long as they're under 36 inches um, in size, they'll be able to fit it through their machines and get it scanned and copied. Uh, and then I had the maps or the copies laminated and uh, everything turned out fairly well. Um, there was a little bit of, with the copy, you could see the crease that's on the original maps um, that, that just came through in the copying process. So it actually shows up in the laminated process. Um, but other than that, it turned out really well. Now, the advantages of having it laminated is that uh, if somebody spills something on it or drops something on it or whatever else, it'd just be able to wipe it off. If I wanted to use pens to make markers on the map, I could do that too and then just wipe it clean. Um, the other thing is that traveling to somewhere like a convention, um, if I have the map laminated, I don't need to take plexiglass with me. Instead, the map's all set. It's ready for us to put the counters on. Um, now, the downside with having the map laminated is, of course, that you can't fold the map up again <laughs> and put it back in the box. Um, you basically have to roll it up and uh, keep it in a tube or keep it tied together. Um, and so that's what I'll be doing um, with this particular copy. Now, the whole process was not inexpensive. Um, uh, this particular battle's got four maps, and each of the maps cost about um, $40 to get copied and printed, um, and then added uh, maybe another uh, 5 or $6 to get them laminated. Um, so altogether about five, $50 per map to get them done. Um, now, of course, I had a coupon, which saved me a bundle of money, um, and so I would encourage you to do that. If you have a smaller game that's just got maybe one or two maps, um, this wouldn't be a bad option. Uh, but in this particular case, um, I wanted to try to keep this game safe and not have my original copy get uh, folded, spindled, or mutilated. And so, therefore, we can go wild uh, with beer and food around the table at uh, this particular version of uh, La Bataille de Friedland at Consim. So I'm looking forward to having some battle reports uh, as we go along with uh, that particular game and I will share them with you. Um, if you've got any comments about laminating or preserving your maps, uh, feel free to make notes in the comment section and share your wisdom or your experience with anybody else who's watching. Until the next time, be well.